In this video, we're going to learn about the visibility rule of 6. The visibility rule is an easy way to make the division procedure easier and quicker. It helps one to check whether a number is divisible by another number without the actual method of division. In this video, we're going to learn in the visibility rule of 6. The visibility rule of 6, if the number which are divisible by both 2 and 3 are divisible by 6. That is, if the last digit of the given number is even and the sum of its digit is a multiple of 3, then the given number is also a multiple of 6. It's quite complicated, but we're going to uh, take it easy. Okay, let's get started. So again, in this uh, divisibility rule, uh, it should be divisible both in 2 or 2 and 3. So I just post the divisibility rule so which we uh, we can follow and understand what we are trying to answer so i have here 1230 so we're going to determine if that number is a divisible of six but to determine if the number is divisible by six uh, first, we're just going to determine if the number is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. And we're going to consider that the number is consider, uh, divisible by 6. So let's try to determine if the number is divisible by 2. And again, if you want to know, uh, the divisibility rule of 2 I'll post the link uh, above so you can uh, check it out and also on the divisibility rule of rule of 6 uh, of 3 uh, I'm sorry okay let's find out if it is divisible by 2 and again to get the divisibility uh, by 2 it should be an even number so 1230 so let's try if the number or the last digit of the given number is even and the last digit is 0 and 0 is an even number so that it is divisible by 2 okay Let's try if it is divisible by 3. And to determine if it is divisible by 3, we're going to get the sum of its digit and it should be a multiple of 3. So, get the sum of its digit is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0. And the sum of the digit is 6. And the third mean if it is multiple of 3. 6 is a, a multiple of 3. So that 1230 is a divisible by 3. Uh, with that, if the number is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3, the number... Uh, we're going to determine it is also divisible by 6. Let's try another. So I have here 5,618. So again, uh, we're going to look if it is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. So first is on the divisibility rule for number 2 so 5618 so the last digit it should be an even number 
So, the last digit for 5,618 is number 8. And 8 is an even number because it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So, that 5,618 is divisible by 2. Let's determine if the number is also divisible by 3. So, again, to get the... the the divisibility rule for number 3 is to get the sum of its digit. And if it is the multiple of 3, it is divisible by 3. So we're just going to add the digits. 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 8 equals 20. And the term mean if it is a multiple of 3. 20 is not a multiple of 3. So that 5,618 is not divisible by 3. By getting a dot a divisible by 2 check but divisible by 3 is cross. So that 5,618 is not divisible by by 6 because it should be divisible in both number 2 and number 3 okay and reminder if divisibility rule of 6 it should be divisible both 2 and 3 to come up or to determine the number is also divisible by 6 so don't forget, happy learning, because Marimaric is fun!